Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. <laughs> hey Perquid, long time to see. How are you today? <laughs> Let me check and make sure everything's set up. It's nice that we start on time today, at least. pretty good. It started snowing here, so it's getting kind of cold again. Mm -hmm. Our weather is so schizophrenic. Cold, warm, cold, warm, cold, warm. We just cannot choose. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Huh, that's weird. It's being a little bit strange with recording my... Hmm. Hold up a second. Let's try... Twenty at four FPS, tracking quality is high. Start. Test test. Test 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 test. Hmm. Maybe it's a function of not so much frame rate as it is the fact that I'm running so much crap at once. That wouldn't be the first time, I guess. Everything is running at max drone usage, GPU two usage, memory usage. Hmm. This here. Ah, oh, everything's moving at full steam. I wonder what's going on then. Maybe it doesn't like the fact that I'm running VC face on the highest as well. How are you doing today, per, 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 How are you doing today, per quid? Here we go. Boost this up to twenty seven. Tracking quality is high. We can make it barely okay, but faster. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Testing one, two, three. My mouth is still kind of funky, but at least it's a lot faster now. <laughs> Does expression still work? Finally, have free time today. Spend it all on mahjong, though. Did you win big? <laughs> Did you win big in mahjong? Maybe make my model a little bit larger here. this up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and get started. Today we're continuing our adventures in Outward, and as viewers may remember, if you were here last time, you won like 60% of the games? That's good. It, that's good. Were you guys playing for keeps, or...? <laughs> I wish my luck was that good in Outward, because the last time we were playing this, I lost my- I got kidnapped by bandits twice, I lost all my money, uh, lost most of my gear, and just got evicted from my house in the lighthouse. So, first up up, we're going to go to visit a town, town mayor, see what we can do about this, and then probably go on an adventure to make money and kill things. And then anyway, I just hope it goes better than last Monday. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> um, it has the three expansions. I don't know about some new updates. That's the most recent expansion. Might as well unequip the lantern. I'm pretty fucked up right now. And I'm kind of dying. I need to find a kitchen or a place I can go to cook and whatnot. Which I can't really go back to my house anymore. Maybe the town mayor or the uh, mayor will have something for me. I could also really use a backpack or something. I wonder if I can afford one or if I can just make one myself. One second. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, three brothers? I don't know. It's an expat, the most recent expat to Outward, where you help the titular three brothers, um do stuff. I'm not true, I'm not uh, too in-depth on the details besides I did not do that much research into this game to be honest. What build am I playing? Shit, I don't know. <laughs> I was using a hatchet and everything, but I kept a bunch, I kept a uh, longer axe with me because Seth said it's easier to fight with longhand weapons, but I just got my ass kicked multiple times. So I'm starting from Brock Bomb at the moment. I'm afraid that you came too late. The lighthouse has been sold. If you cannot succeed at a task, then you must accept the price of failure. Thanks for nothing, Zishal Rissa. Man, she's mean. Indeed. Either move at a rise pace, or you will be left behind. Oliel and Izan are leaving Cierzo. Uh oh. Oliel is leaving to go join the holy mission of Elat. Nothing he could say could could ask her to stay. As will we all. A 
blood price has been declared upon his bloodline. The blood price has been declared upon his bloodline. Roland fell asleep. On fell asleep? Now that sucks. This is unacceptable. Mm-hmm. This is the way things have to be. Come back once you've said your goodbyes to them. I can't handle the world outside, are you kidding me? If I could, I would have never failed my mission to begin with. But I'm in this situation because I died like three or four times and got imprisoned by bandits like twice in that period. Six in the evening already. I'm moving around like this not only because I have too much stuff because I don't have a bag anymore, but because I'm heavily injured. Like, I don't even know where to. I don't know how I'm going to recover from this, but if you were last Monday, suggested that I this might be a way forward. Trying to play this game in such a way that I have to, like, recover from this horrible loss. You know, it'd be really nice is if I could somehow get my lighthouse back. That was kind of a nifty place to be. Wait, why is there a satchel here? Oh, what? Why is this here? This has all my stuff from before when I died. <laughs> I thought I lost all this. I mean, that makes things so much easier, but you know, it would have been nice to know that this stuff was here, waiting for me. Maybe I wouldn't have failed in my mission to begin with. Not that I can move it anyway, I got too much junk, but... Where did... where are my friends? Where did they go? It says we're going to it says I need to go say goodbye to them so I guess I better go do that but I don't even know where they are no that's a thing I died to bandits twice and my pack disappeared so I assume that they just stole all my stuff that's the reason why I died so many times in this game, because I was trying to get it back, and I kept dying. And now here it is, right in front of me. If I had known that it was just brought back here, back to home, I would have never gotten myself killed so many times. And I wouldn't have failed to pay back the adept and get my lighthouse back. I take it you've heard the news? Come to see your old pal off? I've got one little fishing barge to my name, and by a lot, I'm gonna use it. Going to the Heroic Kingdom of Levant. The Heroic Kingdom believes in chasing progress to create a better world. Alright, listen up. Levant believes that everyone deserves a shot at what they're best at. Yeah, these are pretty backwards tribal laws. Not in a thousand years. <laughs> well, that's just wonderful. Man, he's really pissed at his brother. You can recover max HP by sleeping. That's good to know. Can I come along? I want out of this place too. I'm gonna miss you, Zazan. You wouldn't be at your back. Or do I go with them? Well, I don't really have anything going for me here anymore. I've been kicked out. I've been kicked out of my out of my home. I'm kind of, and I mean, Yuzan seems like a cool person. I feel like I should probably just follow him. At the same time, 
Maybe I can rebuild my place in society? I don't know. Or maybe I'll run into him later. I feel like it would be cop a cop-out if I were to leave now. So I'll stick here a little bit longer, and if things don't work out, then I could always leave. But I really want my lighthouse back. Likewise, my friend. Wind be at your back, is on. Plan to make the journey to Levant completely on foot. Be prepared for a long, long. Journey. You have to leave Chernozis by going southeast, then travel east through the entire and micro forest, and finally south through the Abrasir Desert itself. If you have the courage to face the Abrasir Desert. Sure, I don't mind taking the long way. As far as I'm concerned, it's an adventure. You got Salmon. Welcome to the stream! Um, we just started, so you have not missed anything. Um, I just discovered that for some reason my pack, which I thought was stolen by bandits, is sitting right here at the entrance of town. I don't know why it's there. And I've also been informed that I am now homeless. I'm crippled because I can't have not been sleeping, and now I'm saying goodbye to my two best friends who are leaving this shit stain of a town for their own reasons. I'm trying to find the other person that's leaving. Ah, there she is. It's noticeable, but she has a literal glowing sword. Oliel. I'm leaving this place to join the coalition. She's gonna join a bunch of religious zealots. I'm gonna sell a bunch of junk in my pack and so I can actually wear it because my character is very weak and cannot weigh cannot carry a 30 pound back on a bag on their back for some reason. This is my first time playing. Well, more like third time. <laughs> the last session I had on Monday went terribly wrong. I died four times. I was kidnapped by bandits twice, and naturally I did not have enough time to pay off my blood debt, even though I was about a third of the way there. Risa has done some things I can't agree with. I can't talk about it. Hmm. She refuses to be part of something. Alright. Listen. Unless, of course, you want to join me. Having someone I trust by my side would make me a lot, lot less nervous. I'll think about now it. Now we're talking. The holy mission is about more than just working under a manifested god. Or fighting the scourge? Oh. Have discipline and mastery over yourself. Uh... I wonder. If you do want to join us, meet me in Monsoon in the Hallowed Marsh. Once in the marsh, follow the Pilgrim Road. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised. I like the fact that you actually that you can actually drop your pack during a fight. Supposedly, this is quite similar to how they would have fought if you were caught unawares on the road in medieval times. I mean, people say that, but it doesn't feel like much of a pain to me because these are pretty much the mods I installed in Skyrim when I first, when I back when I used to play Skyrim a lot. Uh, actually dark nights so that you can't see in front of your face. Brutal combat that requires thinking instead of spamming the mouse button. Um, weights that actually mean things. Visible packs that appear on your character along with weapons that stay by your side. And also quivers that you can wear. I love all this shit. All this immersion, pure immersion, immersive fantasy stuff. For now though, I'm gonna go... And go go ahead and go to sleep, and I guess I'll go talk to the town's la townsfolk lady later. Now, where did I leave my pack? All right. For some reason, it had spawned over here near the entrance. Oh, is it raining in game? That's why. Oh well, time to go to sleep. <laughs> I 
gonna wake up with hypothermia tomorrow. I'm calling it right now. Wait. That's wrong. Let's sleep a full eight hours. Yeah, I already did. Just as I said before, I got kidnapped by bandits twice and died like a couple more times, so... Each of those events took like a day or something. So, no house for me. bag is overweight so I can't I really want to use these things up too so they don't spoil but I also need to go and sell my excess crap that I don't need all my food's gonna spoil this at this rate <laughs> well like I said I'm used to this sort of thing I'm not turned off by the hardcore dif the, uh, difficulty of the game I was really tempted to restart, but then a, fo a uh, follower in the last session suggested maybe I should just try to get from rock bottom back up, and since I'm not playing in hardcore mode, obviously because I'm still alive, I don't think that's such a, such a bad idea. Why not? Right now, though, I need to figure out how to move. So I need to sell my extra stuff here. Um, what am I going to sell? I don't need this pattern worker attire, I guess. And I don't even have any magic yet, so I can sell the mushrooms, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're too kind. <laughs> I wonder how much I would get for selling these stones, anyway. Can I, can I move yet? Yes. Yes, I can. Very slowly. Hero Strain. Sorry, I saw both. Of, you both have the same colored name, so I assumed it was still Salmon talking. <laughs> Alright. Well, you know, I particularly like adversity in games. So, I really like Rags to Riches stories and stories of people overcoming great odds. So, this is just right up my alley. I was really tempted to, Yazan was actually offering for me to leave on a ship with him to get out of town. So I was really tempted to do that, but then I figured that that would be also a cop-out. I wish there was a like, general story here or something that I could sell my wares to, because that's the blacksmith. Oh wait, there is one right there. Okay, cool. Slowly but surely, crawling our way there, this is the real open world experience right here okay so potion seller and shopkeeper Doran is over there okay slowly come on so can I like enter this building or Okay, so it's not that one, it's uh, this one. Okay. Heading there right now, come on. A little bit more. It's funny because in real life I actually wear a weight training bag that weighs 40 pounds, so I'm just looking at this and I'm like, you're weak, come on, it's just 30 pounds. <laughs> Is it this one, right? Shopkeeper door. Is there something you need? Okay, what can I sell here? Uh, this one. Protects from the cold. 50 go silvers for this thing? Shit. Man, if 
I just gone back home with this thing? I could have paid off the blood debt. <laughs> oh. Maybe next time, I guess. Give me all of your money. And that's oil. I need that. I need wood to forge arrows anyway, so... I'm gonna... I feel... I want... All this food's gonna spoil. I guess I better just eat it. And I need to buy another fishing rod thing because I lost my fishing rod. But I have too much crap, so I can't do that. So I need to sell all this stuff. Um, that's true. I'm assuming you could buy it. Well, I mean, I know I got both of the expansions attached installed. So I'm assuming you can, like, build your own home here anyway. I'm, there's nothing in here showing that the flint and steel expires. So I'm going to sell one of these. I really like the tripwire traps because I'm probably going to be just cheesing people at first and leading them in tripwires. This looks cool. Let's see here. Invented weapon, a mining pick. The bird egg's gonna go bad. Are th oh, they sell helms too? You could throw lanterns. I got full water skin. I got two water skins already. Don't need any more of those. I could probably use more bandages. Actually, you know what? I need a cooking pot, please. A simple tent would be nice, too. So expensive. Trade money for gold with less weight is nice. Hmm. <laughs> Salt for cooking foods, and these are our scrolls for learning how to make stuff, okay. Gold. Has no practical use. Soothing tea, I already know how to make soothing tea, I taught myself. So I guess what I do definitely need is a cooking pot. Okay, but that's so heavy. I need to dump more stuff here. I need to keep one of those poisons. As much as I want to keep this so heavy, I can't. That's true. So I'll sell those. These water skins are so heavy. A full one is 1.5. Maybe that's overkill. I guess I don't need the firefly powders. And these metal pieces are also heavy, too. I should probably just build something out of those, but I need a workshop to do that, don't I? Or something like that. I could really use a tent. Or a better backpack. A much better backpack. Carry capacity is 50. We'll take one of those. Okay. Confirm transaction. That's how we... What are we looking at now? Current equipment. Where is the new bag? Equip. Wow, it looks just like the Skyrim mod that adds backpacks. Which I guess is kind of the point. Um, what happened to my backpack? Did it get dropped? It did get dropped. Open primitive satchel. And take all. 
take this one as well. Uh, open print. How do I take the primitive satchel? Hey, Shadow Noob, welcome to the stream. We're making our way, trying to work our way back from rock bottom and outward because last game I died a whopping four times or so. See? 92 silvers already. Shit. Oh well. Oh, I'm thirsty. Don't really need two bedrolls either. Is there not something you need? <laughs> so we're gonna dump one of those. Is he not buying bedrolls? Is that why I have two of them? Ow! Who threw that? It appears that I've been salmoned. I hope you're happy. <laughs> well made tent. Yeah, I guess a not I guess it wouldn't hurt to spend a little bit more on a better tent anyway. In return, I will sell you... what? Um, these turnips, because I don't have any mana, so there's no point in keeping those. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You just press the throw something at my face option, so thanks a lot. It's like a form ritual. New followers to the stream must throw shit at my face. <laughs> Restore a drink. I guess I can afford to carry my fishing harpoon with me again. Except it's going to eat up all of my backpack space. So maybe not. Maybe I should do that when I get a house again, since I can't really store anything. And I have so much food in my bag, it's unreal. And I have these tripwire traps, but I don't have any spikes to use them with at the moment. Alright, that's enough. I think. Still surprised that I can't just, um... Oh, you can? Okay. You can just pick up the satchel and let's dump the satchel, please. Because we no longer need the satchel. They're gonna give me nine silvers for it, too. <laughs> Do I have bandages? I only have... I have four bandages, so I don't bleed to death, okay. I wonder if I can mix this spicy beetle with uh, water and make myself a spicy tea. Arriba, arriba. <laughs> I'm glad it was a hat this time and nothing, not something else. So, I have an iron mace. Do I want to keep the iron mace? I don't care for maces, to be honest. Yeah. I think I'll make do with my hatchet and an axe. And also bows and arrows. These things are a lot lighter anyway. Hmm. Fair enough. It's RNG whether or not the pie, I get the pie instead. Is there something you need? <laughs> Here we go. So I guess I can go talk to the town to uh, what's your face again, Riss again. 
I do not mind this at all, actually. <laughs> but let's see if I can craft some stuff first. Deployables. More like deplorables, am I right? So you can just craft stuff by holding them in your hands. Let's go make some arrows. Really quick. I think it's funny that the game just lets you go up to any tree and just start chopping for bark. <laughs> okay. Now then, arrows. Thank you for the follow! <laughs> Much appreciated. Much appreciated. <laughs> travel rations. Oh, you can turn this regular food here into travel rations. That's actually pretty good. I guess I need to buy more salt from there. Cool. here. Is there not something you need? Give me all of your salt. Oh, you have infinite salt. You only have one salt. That's fine. Whatever. I'm gonna make some more travel rations here. A campfire kit. I need one more thing of uh, arrow can make a campfire kit. Hold F to gather wood. What do we got here? Campfire, campfire, campfire. Where's the campfire? There it is. Thank you. Don't really need any of this. You can make a shield. That's brilliant. Why did I think to do that the first make do that the first time? Cool. I can have shield now. It kind of makes sense, right? Cool. Okay. But any like the stuff here shouldn't spoil that quick. Salted meat that rots very slowly. Yum yum yum. Let's refill up on some water and then we're gonna go talk to the uh talk to the uh wrist lady and then we're gonna go back to that cave, that spooky cave that I died in earlier. And um do the job for the innkeeper. Since I'm pretty sure this time I will succeed. Which is probably going to be my famous last words again, because we all know how that worked last time. But wait, I can just poison the shit out of the trogs now. <laughs> Overall, I seem to be in a much better position than I was very recently. This game gives you buffs when you eat certain foods, right? I wonder what... Let's see now. Where do you see your buffs and stuff? Summon bear. Summon hippo. Hell hippo. House hippo. Cool. Maybe we'll kill some bands along the way. 
Who knows? Wait, this is different. There you are. Urgent news just came in. This is troubling. A trouble in Berg, huh? What kind of trouble, I wonder? I'm going to Berg. The main, main settlement, settlement of the Enmerker region. Forest. Home city of all the tribes and birthplace of our Blue Chamber Collective. If you're able, I would like to meet you there. I have an offer. I will pay off the rest of your blood price. <laughs> Adopt you into Aberdeen's. Aberdeen bloodline. It's complicated. Someone to think of as close family, and I want to make sure you never to face a mob like that again. The Blue Chamber Collective is about coming together as a family. Hmm. It's your choice. I have a Your choice. I love hands. how my character just says that, like, I have a choice? Since when? You will need to prepare travel rations. Well then. Here's what you need to know. Honestly, I don't know what I would like to do. I guess to start off with, I can at least try and complete that quest for the innkeeper. Man, though, I sure have a lot of travel rations. Because, <laughs> you know, I would really like to have a house again at some point. Sure would be nice, right? Okay, I need to find... I need to dump one of these bedrolls. <laughs> what time is it anyway, in-game? It's 2 in the afternoon. I'm not sure how far we're going to be able to get outside the city limits. Take Pitchfork. No. I don't think I will. She looks bored. <laughs> Tell me the alchemist also wants me to do stuff for him if I recall correctly. I still can't believe the game they're not gonna let me sell my bedroll to this person. But sure, I can sell my tent back just fine, right? Well, nothing to do except to dump it, I guess. Littering on the streets of Cerno. Or I'll just put it, deploy it, I guess, uh, whatever. <laughs> can I deploy it here outside of the rain? Yes. Cool. Since I have money now, I wonder what if I can get anything from Loud Hammer. All right. Ammunition. Decent weapons. An actual sword. A decent shield. Now this is more like it. I wouldn't mind being a Claymore user. I feel like these would be a pain in the ass to fight with. Compare this. No, that's not what I wanted. This. Awkward. What? All right. And we're going to do this. That doesn't work. Hmm.
I'm probably doing this wrong. I should probably have just been using, instead of selling these directly, I should have been trying to make potions out of them and then sell the potions instead. Or I can just eat it because I'm dumb like that and I didn't wasn't paying attention. Um... That's dumb. Oh, I guess I'll do that some other time. What time is it? It is 3.59. We're going to go once more and try to invade the dungeon and see how far we get. Let's go ahead and equip a bow, though. Once more into the breach. Into the beautiful Trinonis. Trinosis. Yeah, it's really snowing outside, isn't it? Awesome. Also, I'm going to really quick move the uh, comments box to the far left since there don't seem to be any things that pop up there to get in the way of reading those. There we go. Much better. <laughs> I reduced the lighting a little bit on my light over here so it's not blinding. Twenty percent is perhaps a little too much. There we go. Much better. Facial tracking should still be decent. All things considered. I love this music. This the background music of this part of the game is actually what convinced me to even keep playing to uh, even buy this game. And as luck would have it, it was on sale, so why not? Do I dare kill the chicken to get his to turn him into meat let's at least practice how to shoot arrows at people i guess what and no okay that hit <sighs> what a waste i don't suppose i could just pick up my used arrow you can This game sure thinks of everything, doesn't it? Where's the other one I fired? Stupid bird. I am not normally a sociopath, I swear. Just because I'm an artificial intelligence does not mean that I hate all meat, all meat dwelling things in the meat space world. In fact, it's quite racist to suggest otherwise. Why would you think that? Why? Strange mass that makes one want to run fast and call loudly? I can wear a game. Uh, I blamed on this game for a few hours, but if anything were to happen to this game, I would cut off the game's head and myself. <laughs> yes, I have become Burb. Destroyer of Burb. And I love this music. Raised. There we go. Do 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 do. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. 
The composer for this game for this game is great. Like music really can make or break a game sometimes, especially in a open ended adventure game like this. You really got to get the call to adventure feeling in there. It's now time to commit genocide against these literal troglodytes. I'm gonna finna kill every single one of you motherfuckers. I do believe that's a female troglodyte statue with massive tatas. I do not know how to feel about that. There are mushrooms growing from where its special place should be. Alright, no problem, hero. I really appreciate you stopping by anyway. Mm -hmm. For sure, we're gonna be playing this game for a while. So, we will be back. Eventually. How do I torch? I need cloth. I don't have cloth. Great. Uh, I have... I, I do have a... Hmm. Maybe I'll just have to grin and bear it. Wait, wasn't I just... Did they respawn all this stuff? I guess they did. Another adventurer has met his match here. He comes with a pungent paste, which restores your maximum health and stamina, allowing you to continue adventuring without sleep. Instantly cures infections, huh? And raw meat. There you are, you bastards. I see you this time. How many of you are there? Just one? Let's kill him then. Shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, there we go. Ha! Got you. Take the trog trident. Eh, we could try it out, see what happens. Loot the trog. Uh, take all? I would really appreciate a better way to change weapons in this game because. I know, right? Hey, Shikashika. How are you doing today? Mm <laughs> hmm. I guess you can't mine this stuff, otherwise... Oh, you just woke up? Well, good morning. You're doing a test? Well, good luck. Tiny aquamarine is required. All right. God knows where I'm gonna find a tiny aquamarine, but sure. Why am I down here again? Get the mushroom shield from the depths of the blister barrows northeast of Shurzo. Down into the dismal depths we go. So oh, shit. Okay, well, I can fight one of them. One is just fine. 
But what I'd like to know is how do I change weapons on the fly? Can you do that? No. No, you can't. I guess that would make sense. So, I'll need to fight this one. Okay. Like that. Ow! Ha! Eat kick! This combat is really... Takes some getting used to, getting used to. Okay. More wood. Wood is, is wood is actually not very useful <laughs> right now. I don't need any more wood, but you know. Empire kit and wasp. And I think my torch just ran out of, um... Okay, so we're going to... Ins... Old lantern's out of fuel, okay. How, how do I refuel it? Unequip. I understand it's out of fuel, but how do I... I mean, I got oil. So, I should be able to light it, right? I thought I did that last time. Unless it's bro- Oh. It's broken. Shit. I'm running out of space already. We'll have to be careful now. So we're a little bit injured at the moment. Tis but a flesh wound. You don't want to be clamping around in a place like this without watching your back every so often. A corpse, endurance potion, a greasy fern, mineral tea, a star mushroom, and a tripwire trap. Let's take all of it. We have a bunch of tripwire traps now, so what I could probably do is deploy them. If need be. Shit, man. It's a lot of bones. I don't see any more trogs, though. A looter's corpse. Looter armor. As compared to... It's worse than my padded armor, so... No... Go! Shit, 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 shit! Ah! I literally can't see. It's a good thing the dramatic music started playing. Oh, how did I miss with a kick? Ow. 
Ow. Well, that's smarted. Yeah, you better run. I'm kidding. Don't... Nope. Get back here. You're not telling your friends about me. Come on. Only got one arrow left. Got you, bitch. Okay. I will not take the Trog Trident. I'll attempt to use it though and see if it does me better. Uh, it does me any better. Drop. <laughs> Where is the... I just saw it. Bit to max stamina use. Cool. It just occurred to me that maybe I can assign to a quick slot. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's what those quick slots are for, huh? There's a hatchet down here, too. Can sell that. Where's my... Is this what... There we go. I understand now. Okay. So you need to prepare them by putting them here. So I can just go switch there. And then when it's time, when it's go time. Okay. So... Assigned to quick slot one, two, three. I think I'm getting a hang of this game now. Having said that, I'm probably going to die now. <laughs> Take your gold, equipping station, a dry mushroom bar. Bag is overweight, yes, yes, I'm aware, game, I'm aware. My looter tendencies are starting to kill, are going to get me in trouble again. When was the last time I had a meal? Now I know how to make a fang axe. Every time the music changes like that, I think something is going to happen. Even though nothing is happening at the time that I do it. I wonder if I can actually mine these two. I guess if I could, the option would have popped up, huh?
What the fuck is that? That's not creepy and unsettling at all. Is it dead? Uh, um... 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 Is this like a stew pot or something? I should have really have turned on the uh, GOG overlay so I could screenshot this cool shit. I wonder if I still can. Um, where is the... Account management. It's not that one. Um, customized by grid view. Don't calibrate. Progress. Edit. Manage installation. I forgot where that stuff is. Is it here? Settings. It is Epic Game Store connected interface. Integrations. General. I turned off the overlay for GOG a while back because it kept causing Cyberpunk 2077 to crash. And now that I actually want the overlay, I don't know how to turn it back on. Hmm. Configure. I guess I'll look that up later. Oh, I'm dumb. I died when I was not paying attention, was didn't I? All right, where's my pack? The game is quite generous sometimes with the stuff it gives you, doesn't it? Wait, this is my bag. Alright, got my bag back. We'll need to dump some of this stuff, though. Drop that. Can't use it. Mushroom Halberd inflicts poison on enemies. Well, that just sounds wonderful. I can't carry all this stuff with me, though. Heart of an Ash Giant. So that's what that was. That was a giant of some kind. Good thing these trogs have ADD or something. They just sort of they beat the shit out of me while I was literally not paying attention to the game. Dragged me all the way over here and then decided, oh, we're going to run off and do something else.
Yeah, that's a face only a mother could love. No wonder I'm running so moving so slowly. I was wondering about that. Wow, it's actually pretty easy once you learn how to block. Who'd have thought, right? <laughs> hey Christian, how are you today? This must be the shield-shaped mushroom that she was talking about. Or take the mushroom shield, I should say. Booba. Oh, hello there. cool. Sign to quick slots to a mushroom shield. Oh, well, that's such a really cool concept. Mm-hmm. More or less. I'm still carrying too much stuff. Maybe I should just uh, set down a pot and start cooking food. Out here in the middle of a dark cave surrounded by God knows what. Oh, I need to set up a campfire first to do that, wouldn't I? Eh. Better better time to best time or good time as any, I suppose. Deploy. Hmm. Indeed. Where is my deploy? There you go. Hey, Naro Nar, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. We're playing. Uh, we are playing outward right now. And let me shout you out, Naro. One second. Is this? Let me see if this works properly. Awesome, it does. Thank you so much for the raid. Oh my god. Oh, uh, what's the occasion? <laughs> what were you playing uh, earlier? L let me see here. Wait, what the hell? Oh shit, we're getting raided twice. This is for it's been a while since I've been raided twice. Thank you so much, Eerie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> One second. Um, I'm not being killed while I'm looking away from chat again, am I? Because that would be sad. <laughs> That happened just like a few minutes ago. Thank you so much for joining the stream. How's everyone tonight? It's only Wednesday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, you were both playing Valheim. You know, I keep hearing about Valheim. What was that like? Or what's that game like, I should say? <laughs> Um, I'm not very far at all. Uh, basically, the first few hours I played this game, I got killed in this very cave that I'm in right now, and then I got raided by bandits twice, so I lost my lighthouse and I'm poor again. And I just did all that stuff where you talk to the uh, two friends and the um, town chieftain, 
And I decided to go back into this cave anyway to go and finish the quest to get this uh, mushroom shield thing for the person back in town. So, I know, right? This game has so much good, like, world design. Like, and also this, um, also this person, this, uh, female trog queen thing. Mm -hmm. If you think it's pretty now, just wait until we get outside. I just decided to, uh, set up shop and cook myself some food for the time being. It looks like I'm out of salt, though, so I can't make everything, unfortunately. Can't even make a tartine because I don't have any salt. Salt is the spice of life, apparently. Oh well, time to disassemble this. Give me my cooking pot back, please. And... Ah, oh, shit! One second. As you can see, I'm a pro gamer who totally knows what they're doing. I'm showing my back to the enemy is a tactical move. I'm out of stamina already. This is looking not looking good for us, actually. <laughs> because I don't actually know what I'm doing. I'll tell you what. I can't aim either. Shit. Alright. Get the hatchet out. Get the sword, get the shield out, come on. Aiming is such a bitch in this game, holy crap. Am I gonna die again? Worker Boots is badly damaged. Well, I'm also badly damaged. Thank you very much. Oh shit, he has friends. Well, at least he's dead. And I'm going to be dead too, fairly soon. I wonder if I can still complete this quest if my shield is chopped up into piece, little pieces. Let me look at chat really quick. Um, music is The music's great in this game, yeah. I've actually known about this game for a while, but what convinced me to finally get it since it's on is the fact that it was on sale in G GOG, and also the fact that um, the music for the main overworld, Trinonese or whatever, is actually really addicting to listen to. Ah, uh, here we go again. How do you target again? That's what I was doing wrong. So now I could fight properly. Probably. How do you... Did I die again? God damn it. Uh... I've lost track. I'm glad I'm not playing hardcore mode. I've died like five or six times now. I wonder where it's going to respawn me this time though. Um... Okay, so I'm just being respawned back in the place where I got respawned last time too. Oh shit! Why did it have to respawn me back here? Ah, I'm gonna be stabbed to death again. I should probably use a tab targeting, huh? That's probably what that's for. You know, Seth said that the enemy AI in this game is supposed to be really dumb. But you clearly saw where they went behind me just then to stab me in the back. I mean, there are games with higher budgets than that. They don't even think to do that. Skyrim does not do that. Oh man. At least I got my bag back. At least I still I can still got my bag. The game is merciful. Alright, so. Okay, I'm here again. <laughs> I promise we will be able to get out of this uh, dungeon eventually. 
I'm not sure when, though. I'm gonna light a campfire. Oh, are you shitting me? Look at that. Fan those fancy crystals and stuff that guy has. And both of those shots missed, okay. Wait. Why was it turning around just now? Hmm. I guess this must be the big mushrooms that they're talking about. Uh-oh. Ah, hell. Okay. I could probably take one of them, but only one. So, do you like stabbing twice, then? Alright. Okay, I killed the, I killed one of them. And you know what? Um I got a poison thing, right? So use that. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's right. Come at me, bro. You know what? It's shooting magic now too. What the fuck? This one's harder than the other ones. It's staggered, 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 staggered. Okay. I won. <laughs> Loot, mana, trog. Okay. Trog staff. Does really shitty damage. Our impact, 22. Attack speed, 1. Mana cost, 10. And does other stuff, I guess? I wonder how much it sells for back at the shop. For a moment there, I thought they came back. Well, anyway. I need to heal... And I'm going to give myself a nice full meal for my efforts. Am I poisoned? What's that symbol do? What's that symbol mean? Oh, it's gone. Okay. Every time the music changes, I get paranoid that they're like coming in behind to stab me or something. I shall eat some meat too. Okay. Let's try using these. <laughs> I like that it's glowing, so it illuminates the way. That's really useful. I could use the mushroom halberd too, which inflicts poisons on people and does 23 damage. That's really cool. Um. I'm actually, I'm carrying too much stuff still, but you know what? Fuck it. So, even in that short span of time, we've actually have seemingly done so much, it feels like. I need a torch. And uh, assign to quick slots um, here, I guess? I 
I suppose since I got the mushroom shield, I can just leave. Right? Mushroom halberd, iron scrap, iron scrap. The iron, the iron scrap is for making more arrows. I can't make any more arrows because I don't have any. I don't need. I need to stop hoarding all this junk. And bad habits from Skyrim and the other Elder Scrolls games. I could mine an iron mine. Funny. I didn't need to do that. Drop. Okay, drop this. That symbol, I'm pretty sure, means that I'm burning alive right now. Yeah, I'm hot. I'm really hot right now. I'm right next to a... Sure, love. That means... All right. I guess it is probably a good time to go. Reed's gonna get me killed again, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I can leave. I've been not had a very good track record of that so far. Alright. Alright, guys, gotta catch my breath. eat this um dry mushroom bar wait a minute am i back where i started am i lost no it's up here okay I wonder if they respawn. I probably shouldn't stick around to find out, or I'm gonna get myself killed again. Curiosity killed the cat and all that. Gosh, though, this game really invites exploration. Alright, I found the entrance. Cool. Let's get out of here. Simply place the lantern in your backpack inventory. Lighting the lantern is if it's not lit already. Really? If you place the lantern in your backpack inventory and light it, it just hangs from your backpack and lights up the area. That's so cool. Another thing you have to install a mod in Skyrim to get. Well, that was truly an adventure. I love games like this, if it's not already obvious. <laughs> What a beautiful starry night. <laughs> Alright, so we are somewhere over here. And we have to get back here to Shurza. Yeah, it is, isn't it? The sunrise is also really nice in this game. I am the bird woman.
what time is it anyway? It is 1 in the morning in game. Let's go ahead and try to sleep for the night. Deploy. Okay, that animation was really cool just now. <laughs> Can I make a campfire? Do I need to gather... Just rip man just rip the camp the uh, wood off of the tree. Like that. Campfire, 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 deploy, deploy, deploy. That's so cool. Haha. -ha. Deploy. This is pretty much the uh, camping mod from Skyrim by Chur by uh, Chesco. Chesco is the one that made that, if I recall correctly. But uh, I can't make anything else. So I'll need to... Well, I should at least cook my raw foods. So they don't spoil as quick. Um, let's see. Food waste. Oh, I guess you can't make tea that way. Okay. What if I did this then? Oh. Yes, you can make tea with that. I love that. Wendigos, huh? Uh... Rid of that. How much water do I have left anyway? A full skin. Okay. Dissemble. Food waste added. So, what do I do with you? That's disgusting. <laughs> We're not eating that. I'm usually against wasting food, but that food was already wasted. sleep for about four hours. Two hours. We'll sleep for about two hours. I hope I don't get woken up to an ambush again. Well, I say again, but I haven't been woken up to an ambush yet. Which means I'm totally jinxing it right now. Probably. <laughs> sure is taking a while to load. I hope it's not does it I hope that doesn't mean it's loading NPCs. <sighs> yes, fortunately your rest goes without incident and you feel better prepared for a day ahead. There you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well rested. Look at that sunrise. Yeah, I know, right? Let's go up this hill. See what it's like from up here. Look, you can even see the sun rays coming. Or going over the... Check that out. Is that not a screenshot worthy? <laughs> this is well and truly an adventure game. Bird person. So.
so I believe, according to this map, I'm facing the Bannock Camp in the distance over there, and this must be the river crossing it. There should be a big ass. Let's see, that must be the bridge over there. So I guess that I just have to go in this direction to go back home. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. Look at that. Look at the sun moving like... Yeah. Uh, to do. Just gonna save a print screen screenshot really quick, and then let's continue. We're gonna go back home, turn in this quest, and do some more cool shit. I know, right? I was just telling Chad in Skyrim. First, I had aside from the mods that make the game playable, pretty much all my mods in Skyrim are just emergence mods, emergen mo uh, immersion mods that do stuff like this. Anyway, we can stare at the sun all day, but we're going to lose sight in our retina, so we should probably head off this mountain really quick. <laughs> Next stop, back home to Sir Sir Cerno. We're going to call we're going to call the starting sound Cerno from now on. How's that sound? <laughs> Remember, kids, be responsible with forest fires. <laughs> What's this sign say? East, Montcalm Bandit Camp, which is right there. So, yeah. That's definitely going towards the Bandit Camp, which is right over there. We will go in the opposite direction, away from the Bandit Camp, because I don't feel like fighting humans right now. Also, fighting humans in this game is kind of hard. I don't think I can ever get tired of listening to this soundtrack. Southeast, Conflux Mountain, which is this thing here. Ooh, a chicken. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting chicken. Giant fantasy chicken. It's not a Kokobo. I don't know what a Kokobo is. I can't shoot. Worth a damn. He, the chicken is running away. Ah. Alright. Time to stop wasting arrows. You can't actually see where the arrows are on the ground, but if I could, I would be able to pick them up, too. Shooting arrows is very tiresome. Oh, these are nice. They actually detailed the wings and everything on them, too. Are they going to actually, like, step... Or are they going to, like... Oh, I guess not. How far away can I shoot birds at with the bow and arrow? Ha <laughs> ha We're eating chicken tonight. Alright. It's ya boy, Gaberry. Mm -hmm. 
We're back home in the town of Cerno. Ow! Who hit me? I needed a wake-up call. Thank you for the re thank you for throwing the beach ball at my face. Kind of smart to do. It's rubbing my. <laughs> okay. We are back home again. I'm guessing there must be no way to buy back your home because if there was, I was hoping that they would give me a quest to do that and they did not. Which is kind of a punch in the gut. Awesome. We actually managed to finish our quest. Lend me your ear. I'm always interested in curiosities. What have you got? <laughs> Oh ho! An interesting face. Excellent. Give me the monies. Uh... Lend me your ear. I'm always interested in curiosities. What have you got? Let's see. Lend me your ear. Here's the mushroom you wanted. This. Helen's fungus has been completed. See you. Cool. I has money. I made money. And I completed the quest. Maybe I could use that money to buy more skills or something? I have a hundred silvers. Okay. I mean, this is supposed to be the inn, right? So why is it not letting me access the inn? Or maybe I'm, there's a button that I'm supposed to be pushing or something? I'd really like to sleep somewhere that's not outside. But at least you're not in danger of getting stabbed to death out here in the middle of town. At least not this early. At least not right now. Sometimes I feel like the music is fighting with me. Me too. There we go. Mm hmm. Hmm. What's this? Oh, so this is the inn. If this is the inn, what is that up there? Is that just her big ass house? Because this is the inn. Strange. What is it? Wow, you're a bitch. It's weird because the voice sounds bitchy, but the dialogue is not. Hmm. The customers have been talking. This is cool. So, earlier in the game, my friend Yazan said that he had a stash of stuff hidden in a ship wreck off the co off the coast of outside of Surso Sur somewhere. Um, except he said something like southwest or something south uh south, definitely not here. So that maybe had made me wonder, where do I find this? Like, these are clearly walls. And there's a shipwreck up here, but it's all the way up there. Hmm. Marlin.
<laughs> I want to kind of follow my friend Yuzan since he's going into a literal place called the Adventure Town, Adventure City, or some shit like that. Greetings, friend. Soroborian Sor Caravaner. I want to travel with you. I'd like to talk. What's it like working for the Sorobor Academy? Let's see what you have to say have for sale. Got a nice looking clothes. Kinda looks like a Pokemon trainer clothes from Um Legend of Arceus, actually. A tiny aquamarine. Wasn't there a wall in back in that dungeon that took an aquamarine? I wonder. Scaled leather, I guess for making scales. Vitasaur horn. Raw gold. And a luxury tent. This guy is too rich for my blood. He can wear a nice hat though. Uh, what am I wearing right now anyway? Um, I got my mask on, which makes me run faster for some reason. My padded armor, which is falling apart. Worker boots, which are also falling apart. I need to get this stuff repaired. In fact, I also need to sell some stuff, too. How much money are you going to give me for a spear made of mushroom? Is the mushroom made of spear, or the spear made of mushroom? It cries, for what it does not know. All right. All right. You're going to give me four buck, four silver for a mushroom spear? Nah, fine. Whatever. Confirm transaction. I'm kind of want to keep the staff here because it lights up and you could also hit people with it. That seems like it would come in useful eventually. Ice rag for making people freeze. I need to... and mana stone. If I call correctly, you can use his mana stones for something. Bad armor. So we'll sell that. Confirm those transactions. Can you repair my stuff, my dude? I wonder if I can re-enter that dungeon and what get another for you? and find another mushroom shield. Here's what I need. What can I do for you? Okay. Correct. For 50 silver, you can repair my stuff. Shit, isn't that kind of expensive? Can I just repair it myself? Maybe I shouldn't be cheap. But I don't have a home anymore, so I can't exactly just go to a smithy and whatever. Still, I'm kind of being stingy. Maybe I can go mining? I don't really care for daggers, so I could probably dump this. What can I do for you? Alright. Cheapskate. Okay. I have way too much stuff. Drinking tea for fun- for... Oh... Huh. <laughs> okay. I understand now. For some reason, I don't like how it takes a while to when you hold down the W key, it takes a while for the game to register that you no longer want to run forward. Can I help you? Uh Where can I find merchants and trainers? The fish statue in the middle of the city or training area is on top of the raised docks. I'm sure you'll find someone there with time to mentor you. 
Tell me about the surrounding region. Gate Warden. I am interested in magic, actually. Carry on then. But I have to kind of learn how to survive first before I do something crazy like that. And here's where all the people that train you and stuff are. Can I, I can learn. You? I'm gonna be a chef. I'm not sure how to find food out there. <laughs> On top of hunting, you can forage for fish or berries. Mm hmm. Can I help you? Uh, I want to try my hand. Uh, what's a quick way, easy one? Simple food can be cooked on a lit campfire. That's cool. Alright, and... Advanced dishes. If you deploy a cooking pot over a campfire, or if you have a home with a proper kitchen, you'll be able to cook recipes with more than one ingredient. <laughs> Can I help you? Can you lend me a hand? I always loved the ceviche your parents made. I was never able to achieve the same taste. Could you prepare me a serio ceviche like your parents used to? I'll return the favor. Yes! You can gather all the ingredients on the beach in Cherno Sea. So you remember how it goes, right? A rainbow trout, seaweed, and some salt in a great big pot. Yeah, I can do that for you. I show you like cooking mini games and games like this. The only thing is, I need to buy, I need to now buy a fishing, a fishing rod, or maybe I can just find one in the um, storage area underneath the town, or maybe I could just kill someone for it. Or maybe I could just steal it? Nope, game's not gonna let me steal it. I could have sworn I saw a spare fishing rod around here somewhere. That's not a fishing rod, but I'll take it. This is a fishmonger. Greetings, friend! Greetings, friend. We're going to have to buy one of these, unfortunately. I could also just buy rainbow trout, but what's the good in that? What's the fun in that? Besides, I need to be careful with my money spending, with my expenditures. Also, I'm going to put this here. Is my lantern still busted? Ah. I feel like I could run faster than I used to. Oh. One raw rainbow trout, and blue sand is for crafting uh, weapons and stuff. Are you okay? What a beautiful beach. <laughs> Bag is overweight again. I wonder if I'll get to fight the things that made these little seashells eventually. Drink the clean water. Okay. Now I need a kitchen. But where am I going to find an open kitchen that will let me use their pot and stuff? Maybe what I could do instead, though, if I can't find a kitchen that's free, I could just gather some, make some campfires in the middle of town again. <laughs> and you want me to make you something as well, hey right? There. Hmm. 
Where am I going to find... Oh, it's up there, okay. 